Sa British Columbia naman, problema sa teacher shortage at may panawagan ng ilang grupo para di na raw lumala pa ang problema ito. May report si Teresa Barrera. So with this specific situation, we have of course an enormous shortage of teachers. May malaking problema raw ang mga paaralan ngayon sa BC dahil sa bilang ng mga guro na hindi na pumapasok sa mga eskwelahan. So there's a lot of absenteeism happening. Um, there's been more shortages of substitute EAs and teachers on call that are just not being sent to schools because they've run out. So there's so many people sick that they don't have enough TOCs or substitute EAs to cover those positions. Kaya healing ng grupong Safe Schools Coalition sa gobyerno, ibalik ang mandatory mask mandate sa mga paaralan. So we are asking for a universal mask mandate to be reinstated in indoor spaces because that would help relieve the pressure on both the healthcare system and the school system so that they can function the way they should be. Ang problema raw kasi sa kakulangan ng mga guro sa BC ay hindi lang nakakaapekto sa pag-aaral ng mga estudyante, dagdag stress din daw ito para sa ibang mga guro. We hear about um, teachers going in and with all good intentions and purposes, they want to make a difference, they want to be here, they want, but they find it absolutely untenable. It's, it's almost like impossible to do the job. And so they have to make a decision. Do I stay here or do I go somewhere else? Di rin nakakatulong na ang starting salary ng mga guro sa BC ay isa sa mga pinakamababaraw sa Canada. Pero kahit itinaas naman ang kanilang sweldo, Maliit lang ang maitutulong nito sa mga guro kapag hindi raw sapat ang mga resources at suporta na binibigay sa kanila sa mga silid-aralan. An increase in salary, which is what the tentative deal will bring, that will help bring teachers in, but it's not going to retain teachers if these working conditions continue. It doesn't matter how much money I'm making if I'm being bitten every single day to the point where I need a skin grafts on my arm. No amount of money is going to make up for that if I'm getting kicked every day. Teresa Barrera, Omni News, Vancouver.